Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a very quick and simple makeup tutorial. Uh, simple and subtle no least because it's aimed directly at babies or parents of babies wanting their baby to get a head start in life because we know that those council flat babies like you out there aren't going to be getting the top jobs. And with a big baby role model in the news, I think we all need to get that sort of HRH sparkle into your baby's face. Um, so the big news is obviously that um, the Prince of Cambridge has arrived and uh, being a royalist and uh, a one-time resident of Cambridge, not Massachusetts but UK, I feel it only right that I am the first online to portray a natural look to give your baby at home the same head chance that our George Alexander Louis, I think, is going to have at life. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little uh, brush here. Now I've got a whole range of brushes that I got from the B&Q set, right from big to small, but on a baby's face we're going to start with this small one. And I'm going to uh, use a transparent mixing white. Now the great thing about a transparent white is it gives that skin that sort of translucent feel that really says sort of royalty, monarchy, and harks back to his namesake, uh, Louis of France. So we're going to go for an all-over coverage on this, but remember, keep it translucent, quite light. It's baby skin we're dealing with. Um, the great thing about this is it's SPF 100, really keeps out any sort of like, um, any, because uh, if you're parading around in the sun, you don't want damage your baby's face. There's nothing more common than seeing a tanned baby. I mean, unless one with gold studs in his ears. So, and you won't be seeing that. Well, our darling Georgie. Mm. So, when we have a light coverage like that, uh, don't worry about the eyes. Babies are very resilient. They're a bit like cats, you know, they're sort of cloaked, shut eye until about six months. So it's absolutely fine. So there's our little undercoat. And now we can start making this baby into a gorgeous bonnie baby like I heard on good repute that um, Prince Charles did win a Bonnie Baby competition. So let's hope that it continues this way. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take a bit of glitter. This is also from the pound shop. The royals are very down with the kids now, Pippa Middleton being a commoner and all, uh, mother of. So we'll just get a tiny bit of this in the hand. And this is so easy to do with babies as well because there's no brushes involved. I might take a bit more. We are talking about a royal baby, aren't we? So there, just look. I'm filling my hand with glitter. And then what you do is you just take the baby's face and just dunk it in the key areas. It's very easy, just grab the back of the head. So we're going to go around the corner of the face, down the cheeks, up around the eyebrows, down the cheeks. And it just gives that sort of, you can blend, blend it in nicely, it gives it that sort of royal glow. Sort of, sil rather, it, I suppose it's a 21st century take on the silver spoon in the mouth. It's more of the silver spoon whacked around the face. Next thing I'm going to do is take a bit of this Face Stockholm Highlighter and again, lots of flash bulbs going off in your Royal Baby, so you've got to highlight things. So, great thing that tells the lineage of your family is your nose. So, as you can see, I've got a strong Royal Grecian Roman nose. We're just going to highlight that a bit with this silver. It might look like you can't see it much, but I promise you, when the flash bulbs are going on, this is really going to help them know that you're Royal. The second thing is we're going to go under the eyes. Now, this is just to make baby look a bit fresh faced. I mean, probably doing photo shoots, you know, for hello and okay, 24 hours a day. So you've got to look your best, even if you are only a matter of days old. There we go. Brilliant. Another very important thing to do during this is to keep setting the face with hairspray. This is fine for a baby. I would say creep up on it while it's asleep. Do it. And the great thing about this is, do this once a month, it's fine. Bath time, whoever, whatever nanny you leave it with, even if they leave it out in the cold, take it on holiday, this is not going to wash off. Now the next thing we want to do is some little rosy little lips. Now there's nothing that says a healthy baby like a, a pursed rip lip and a tongue rolling out from mummy's nipple. So I'm just going to have tiny at the desk. Perfect, just in the middle. A sort of geisha inspired look. Although Japan was never a colony. Let's 
let's pretend we earned them. I'm sure Grandad would come in with some great jokes about Piccaninnies and Geisha girls. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of, um, sorry, that was a, a YSL in Rouge Definition 42841. I've got good repute the royal family like a YSL. Well, not since they dropped Eve. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take the Stargazer in neon colour. Now again, you might think this is a bit of a strong look for a baby, but I can assure you that it's great, especially if you're inheriting daddy's receding hairline like I am, it's great to um, enhance the cheeks and keep the eyes wet. And also, nothing says health like this. And you know what a... So we find the apple of the cheek, and the apple of my father's eye. Smile, find that, and just rub it in. It's great. Now remember, adult cheeks are much smaller than babies, so you can go quite big on this. There we go. And you can remember what a sickly bunch the royal family used to be. I mean, let's only have to go back as far as Elizabeth I. He had a wooden teeth, wooden nose, no skin, and flaps for eyes. That, you know, you're going to have to use a bit of war paint from a young age so that your subjects know how, that you're a, you're a healthy, bonny baby underneath. So that's brilliant. And just to top that off, because, again, you're going to be out in the flash balls, I'm going to use a tiny bit of this gypsy um, coloured um, shimmer. So this is a badger hairbrush. Yes, we are very anti the coal. It takes ten badger asses to make this little brush, and we're just going to glue that in and bring it up into the hairline. Now, and as a baby, I know you don't have very much hair, and like Dad, Prince Willie, and just bring that up into the hairline and disguise the lacquer thing. There we go. Um, next thing I'm going to do is enhance the royal look here. I might just set that quickly. Especially if we're going to go partying with Hazard the Nazi. You know, he likes to dunk in a pool, so... And you know, babies are very resilient. Um, sorry, actually, I might use a tiny bit of this um, super quailin blue, again in royal blue, just on the eyes. But you have to remember that although we're making up a baby, it's very important not to make a baby too sexy, as we've learned. Um, there we go, perfect. And again, no need for eyebrows, babies don't have them. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I've got this um, acrylic paint, soft body, in Prussian blue. Now, this is a strictly royal colour, and what we're going to do is just draw on some nice... Oh, shit, the bed. Sorry. Babies do like to shit the bed, but I just jizzed it all over my legs. Um, we're going to draw in some nice, strong veins. Just to show that that when you're pushing the pram around and people are peering in and saying, ooh, what a bonny baby, do you mind doesn't choke on that silver spoon? They'll see those strong veins, strong Prussian blue jawline, which draw it in like this. So whatever angle you're looking at your babby, it's going to look regal and healthy. Now that's the number one crib tip for all you other mothers and fathers out there who've got little babies that aren't very royal. Um, just a tiny bit like that, and it's fine, and they'll look like a regular little uh, George Alexander Louis. And I think the last thing to just finish this off, maybe a nod to the French Louis again. It's a nice little beauty spot. Now, lots of people associate beauty spots with the likes of Marilyn Monroe, you know, saucy older ladies, but a young baby boy can look and get just as much from a beauty spot. It enhances the face, it gives itself features, and as I said, jewellery looks very common on a young baby, so I won't do that. Now, I'm just going to fix that bit more. And then the last thing that no baby should be without is we'll just make a little curl out of the hair at the front. So it's going to take a tiny bit of hair, twist it round, and now I advise to use no more nails to attach this down with. And, I mean, there's plenty of this lying around the palace. Um, it's just a bit hard to get out of the tube, but once you do... Squeeze it onto the palm of the hand. Take that on. Put a bit on the forehead and then just flatten the curl onto it. Can you see that? Little bonny baby curl. Just again enhance that this is a look for a baby. I'm just going to spray it in place. 
but the normal nails should hold it again whatever you plan doing on it even if you're suckling on mummy's topless booby in the south of France and strops you in the pool although we're not going for a, a maddie and there we go perfect little baby cut so this is my uh, homage to the Prince of Cambridge my hometown of Cambridge and all those little babies out there who aren't quite as fortunate just do them up like this and who knows they might catch the attention of George and be the next king. I mean queen. I mean, let's hope he's gay. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!